Hi everyone, welcome to World Makers, and I'm happy to say I'm here with Carolyn Everson from Facebook. And really, I know you're so busy. Thanks for spending the time with us on the show. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So I have a question. When I I attended one of your creative seminars in the uh, summer down in Soho, I thought it was very inspirational. And one of the key points you made in that seminar is how a lot of people mistakenly think about social as an ingredient. And it's really not an ingredient, it's more of the overarching or key, uh, key platform for, for brands and how they connect with people. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because a lot of the people watching the show are about how do I really bring my brand to life in terms of Facebook? Absolutely. So what we find is that marketers tend to, if they're in the early stages of understanding Facebook, they'll say to their agency or to their team, I need a little Facebook. So in, in terms of I'll come up with a big idea, I'll do the typical 30 second spot, the print campaign, and by the way, give me a little Facebook. And that is actually not the way to think about it at all. I, I like to say that when they say that, they think of it as the salt on the french fry. Mm. As a matter of fact, really, Facebook has to be baked in from the very, very beginning. And it's a platform that can not only help the brand transform in the social environment, but if done correctly, the TV, the print, the outdoor, every other form of media should be social in general and should be amplified and work that much harder. So you work with so many brands. What, what brands are out there working with Facebook that you think are really inspirational for, for other marketers? American Express has done an incredible job. They don't look at Facebook as just a marketing tool. They actually look at Facebook as transforming their business. We were just talking to Dave Manor from Electronic Arts mm -hmm. and one of the points he made is about brands respect, respecting the user experience which is more or less what you're saying about Facebook. It's about not uh, hijacking something in a negative way, but really being respectful of the role of the consumer in crafting that content. Exactly. Our head of creative, Mark Darcy, has a great line. He has been trained in the creative community since early in his career, and he said, as creatives, we've all been taught to disrupt. How do you capture someone's attention in that 30-second spot? Or as he would say, turn the magazine ad upside down. On Facebook, the notion of what happens to happen creatively is really about integrating seamlessly into the user experience. In all the years I've worked with brands, we always talk about the evangelists and how to tap into the evangelists and create advocacy. Well, that's always been somewhat of an intellectual concept, but now when you describe the actual math and social science behind Facebook, it, it's, it's possible. You can really do that not just locally, but nationally, globally, you know, whatever the scope is geographically. That's right. We give brands the opportunity to get their message, to instigate that message, that conversation. They can start with their fan base, but they can quickly target friends of fans, friends of friends, and you can start to see your message multiply quite, you know, quite substantially. And it's not necessarily about how many millions of fans you have. That's like the basic start of the conversation. Mm. It's really, are you inspiring those mm. fans to have an influence mm. on their friends and do the brand work getting on behalf of you? And I have to say, Carolyn, every time I talk to you, I actually get inspired to think about all the brands we should be working with you on Facebook. So again, thank you for spending the time with us, and thank you for joining us on World Makers. <laughs> <laughs>